That's good, little buff. 116! I'm going fast again! Woo! <laughs> How to clean your truck out 101. You might want to wash your eyes. Oh yeah, you're good. All right, that, that, that's good. Oh. oh, there we go. Yep, same way. Look at that. <laughs> this is GM hard plastic. There ain't, that ain't, there ain't no fixing that. Unless you guys want to donate me a frame for a 2002 Tahoe, then, <laughs> then it can stay. Alright guys, we're back with another video. You guys have seen this white truck before. It's Jacob's. You guys have definitely seen this red truck here way in the past. The heart is gone. You got a bird's nest in it. So the frame has rotted to crap on this. So he got a new truck that you guys seen. We rebuilt the trans on this tons of times, rebuilt the diff. The engine had a little bit of issues. He was gonna build this engine and then put it in this, but he's just gonna build this engine with a cam and a whole bunch of stuff and goodies. So right here, we got the engine for the red truck. All pieced out, here are the heads. This side's looking a lot cleaner than this side, but you know, it'll buff. So what cylinder here is the bad on this one? Yeah, let's get out of here. I already honed it and or stone honed it as much as I could. That's pretty much how they're kind of supposed to look. This is a 209,000 mile 5.3, 209,500 miles when I parked it. I had a blown head gasket and I tried to flush it like a moron. I let it sit for a day and a half and I pulled the head to discover all of that. Yeah. So here we are. I think what the plan is, is I'm just gonna get a ball helm and a gauge feeler and all that fancy stuff. Do my measurements and see if I can get a fresh cross hatch on it. Cause there's nothing in there. Like my nails catch physically nothing in this cylinder wall. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to seal. Yeah, that's, there's the rust in there. Yeah, it still needs Not a good pretty. flush. Yes, for everybody that's curious, it is Chrysler Street Hemi Orange. It looks like a real orange. Alright, so what is the plan with this engine when you get it all rebuilt and fixed? You're going to build it up like half race motor, mild race motor, or have like a parts motor, spare motor for the white truck over there that's going to get a cam and cam in that motor or cam in this motor <laughs> so that motor's toast in that truck that's kind of why i just decided to pull this right now because this motor was immaculate when i had it running when i was running it and it was just a stock motor which was fine by all means but now i've got a cam cam kit i just ordered a set of ls7 lifters so it's going to be this motor specifically is going to just be a mild mild street build i guess i'm hoping maybe 400 out of it with the mods i'm gonna do to it and then oh yeah wheel horsepower is taxed after cranked horsepower so we're gonna deal with that when we get there but with the cam that i have it's the chopper copper cam i'm not dealing with that intake i'm gonna get a gen 4 and or trailblazer ss style intake for the ones that do know better airflow all that good stuff yes sir but this is just gonna be mild that one's gonna be wild once i pull it this is gonna be mild for the meantime because funds and all that stuff that one though when this is done getting cammed and cleaned up and put back together with better heads and better valves and all that stuff that one's going to be the wild part. that one's going to get all the good stuff it's probably going to be 30 maybe 60 over we'll see 60 over is quite a haul but we got some cylinder wall to work with so we'll see yeah so basically he's gonna use up that motor in there while this one's getting built, and when this one's built, he's gonna put it in there, take that one out, and then build that one. And it's gonna just be like a little repeating process, kinda. And here's this side though, for this side is pretty much immaculate. The water jackets are, we, we don't look at those. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, uh, we don't worry about those. <laughs> Just hit It'll buff. The, we'll hit that with a real high pressure power washer and some. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out what type of detergent I'm gonna use. So we're back at the red truck. He's messing with the wire harness. He was showing me his little fuse box where the wires go into it. Why the four wheel drive wasn't working because the wires are ripped out. I need that for if I ever want to run it on the motor stand. With this truck, he's just uh, stripping it all out, pretty much getting. All the pieces off, nothing. using what he can for his truck and the other truck hiding over there. I can really show you that because that's not our truck. Got some pieces here. You see the one clip banging on the frame. There's a good reason why he's stripping it out. Same thing over here. Good old hole in the frame. Really roughs it out down here. Fenders, core panels, the rock reading on the doors. It's pretty bad. Getting everything out he can. Savable, usable for the other truck. And it's going to the scrapyard. All right, so that'll probably be it. Just a little update for today. Get you guys update on Jacob's trucks, what he's been doing since you haven't seen Jacob on the channel in a minute. He's been working on his trucks and getting some parts in to build it so hopefully by the middle of summer you guys should see this truck pretty in action fixed up paint you know <laughs> looking pretty we'll catch you in the next video here soon every other day uploads uploading much as we can getting much content out summer's here so car content is here all right jacob got the ecm ecu and the harness completely out there's, that's uh, pretty much out. There's a couple things. This is the just whole engine. The, just the headlight harness is hooked up, really. But that's like all the main stuff you need to make the engine go what? Little bonus clip. Phone's at 1%. Gonna get this in. That's it.